Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll be discussing about what is food irradiation. In this video, we'll be covering the topics such as what is radiorization, what is radicidation, and what is radiopatization. Then further, we'll be talking about what are the advantages and disadvantages of food irradiation, what are the units of radiation, and what are the nutritional quality of irradiated foods. So without wasting time, let us first move forward with what is food irradiation. Food irradiation is defined as a physical process in which the food is subjected to short wave radiation energy, or we can say that the food is exposed to control level of ionizing radiations in order to preserve them by sterilization, disinfection, or disinfestation. The ionizing radiation kills harmful bacteria, pests, and parasites and preserves its freshness. It is also referred to as a cold pasteurization because it kills the harmful bacteria without heat. Irradiation is considered as the most effective and appropriate technology in order to destroy the foodborne pathogens as compared to the other heat treatment techniques for preservation and other chemical preservation techniques. Let's now talk about what is the mode of action. So irradiation, it can directly impair the critical cell functions or the cell components like DNA, which is considered as the most important component of the cell and indirectly form radiolytic products or free radicals from water which are responsible for the 90% of the DNA damage. The irradiation, it can result in a various number of changes in the living cells, depending upon the dosage. For example, like high doses, it can kill the microbes, insects, whereas the low doses, it can destroy some of the enzymes that lead to fruit ripening, thereby delaying it, and it also interfere with the cell division, thereby limiting or preventing the growth of microbes, insects, or parasites, etc. Let's now talk about radiation in food preservation. First of all, what is the simple definition of radiation? Radiation may be defined as the emission and propagation of energy through space or a medium. The radiations of wavelength less than 200 nanometers, such as the UV, X rays, gamma rays, they are all called ionizing rays, and all of these are of great importance in food preservation. The ionizing radiations is defined as the radiation with enough energy to remove the electrons from atoms and molecules to convert them to electrically charged particles called ions. But at those levels approved for food irradiation, these radiations, they cannot penetrate the nuclei and thus the food can never become radioactive. The other types of radiation energy which are used are infrared and microwaves. They are non-ionizing radiations with longer wavelength. Infrared radiation is used in the conventional cooking and the microwave because of its longer wavelength they have low energy levels, but they are strong enough in order to move molecules and generate the heat through friction. Three types of ionizing radiations are approved to be used for food irradiation. Electron beams generated from machine sources operate at a maximum energy of 10 million electron volt. X-rays generated from machine sources operating at a maximum energy of 5 million electron volt and gamma rays that are emitted from cobalt 60 or cesium 137 with respective energies of 1.33 and 0.67 million electron volt. Let's now talk about the units of irradiation. First of all, we need to know about what is radiation dose. Radiation dose is defined as the quantity of radiation energy which is absorbed by the particular food as it passes to the radiation field during processing. The gray is the unit which is used to measure the absorbed dose of radiation and is equal to one joule of energy absorbed per kg of matter being irradiated. One gray is equal to 100 rad. It is radiation absorbed dose and one kilo gray is equal to 1000 gray. According to international health and safety authorities, they have endorsed the safety of irradiation for all foods up to a dose level of 10 kilogram. 
The recent evaluation of an, an international export study group, which was appointed by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN and the World Health Organization and the International Atomic Energy, IAEA, showed that the food which are treated according to good manufacturing practices, even at doses above 10 kilograms, are also safe for consumption, which made irradiation parallel to heat treatment of food. In India, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare amended the Prevention of Food Adulteration Rules 1954 through a Gazette notification dated August 9, 1994, which permitted the irradiation of onion, potatoes, and spices for internal marketing and consumption. In 1998, a number of other food items were permitted for radiation processing and approval for additional items like the frozen, fresh, and dry seafoods and pulses they have been given under the FSSA regulations 2011. Now, let's talk about the nutritional quality of irradiated food. The irradiation process, it does not considerably raise the temperature of the food and the nutrient losses are small and they are significantly smaller as compared to the other methods of preservation such as the canning, drying and heat pasteurization techniques. The macronutrients like the carbohydrate, fats, they undergo little changes during the irradiation process, even at doses over 10 kg. The essential amino acids, minerals, and trace elements, and most vitamins do not suffer significant losses. Different types of vitamins, they have varied sensitivity to irradiation, and it depends on the complexity of the food system and the solubility of the vitamins in water or fat. Four vitamins are recognized as being highly sensitive to irradiation process. They are vitamin B1, vitamin C, vitamin A, and vitamin E. However, vitamin B1 is even more sensitive to heat than to irradiation. The vitamin losses, they can be minimized by irradiating the food in the frozen form or by packaging them in an inert atmosphere, such as under nitrogen. Coming to advantages and disadvantages of food irradiation. The benefits of food irradiation process are as follows. The radiation processing, it does not change texture and freshness of food, unlike the heat treatment processes. The radiation processing, it does not affect the nutritional quality of the food, the flavor and appearance of the food. Radiation process does not induce any kind of radioactivity in food, and it does not leave any kind of toxic radioactive residues on food as, as in the case of the chemical fumigants. It is very effective method due to its highly penetrating nature of the radiation energy it can be used on packed food commodities. The pre-packed foods can be made sterile, thus improving their shelf life and the radiation processing facilities, they are environment friendly, which means they are safe to the workers and the public around. Coming to the limitations, the radiation processing, it cannot be applied to all kinds of foods. The radiation processing, it cannot make a bad or spoiled food look good because it is definitely not a magic wand. It cannot destroy the already present pesticides and toxins in food. The compliance of a particular food commodity to radiation processing has to be tested first in the laboratory. Only those foods for which specific benefits are achieved by applying appropriate doses and those duly permitted under the PFA rules 1955 and now FSSA regulation 2011, they can be only processed by the radiation. Now, what is the term radiorization? Radiorization process, it involves radiation which is applied to obtain a substantial reduction in the number of spoilage organisms, thereby extending the shelf life of food three to four fold. It is applied at dosage of 0 0.5 to 10 kg and irradiation of five kg eliminates most of the spoilage organisms. Coming to radicidation, 
where decitation process aims at reducing considerable number of non-spore forming pathogenic microorganism other than viruses and parasites. And it is applied at a dosage of three to 10 kilogram and it improves the hygienic quality of the food and it reduces the risk of public exposure to pathogens. Redeputization, it refers to irradiation, which is applied to pre-packaged enzyme inactivated foods to reduce the number or activity of microorganisms. For example, the 12D reduction in the Clostridium botulinum spores. It is applied at a dosage of 25 to 60 kilogram, and the process renders the food self-stable without refrigeration. That's all. Thank you so much for watching.